Hey guys, so today you're here for an overview of Montclair, New Jersey, and we'll be happy to show you what there is to do in Montclair, the real estate in Montclair, and how you get to Montclair. What to do in Montclair, what to eat in Montclair, how to chill in Montclair, how to get out of Montclair, how to get into Montclair. I think this is all repeated stuff, you know. If you're brand new to our channel, definitely click the subscribe button and tap the bell notification so you're up to date on all the market updates that we have for all the surrounding areas in Montclair and all the other towns in New Jersey. That's right. So our information is down below. If you need to contact us, you can call, email, or text us. We'll be available. That's right. And once again, my name is Adrian. I'm Brianna, and this is Living in Jersey City, New Jersey and you're in for a treat. And we're getting right to it. We are in Montclair, which is right here. Wow, this is a nice rectangle. So where are we in perspective to the rest of the state and surrounding states? So as you can see, Montclair is west of New York and it's across Jersey City, which is right here. That's this Hudson is, County. This is Hudson County. Jersey, Jersey City goes up to like right here. Let me zoom out just a little bit more so you can see the state of New Jersey. Montclair is right here in North Jersey, right? Montclair, this is all of North Jersey. This is Central and this is South Jersey. And right here, you have Philadelphia. So as you can see, that it, that's where it is in respect to Philadelphia. Montclair is known as a commuter city of New York. So it's like a suburban city. I guess that that's what they call it. If you don't want to be in New York, but you want to be close to New York, this is also another urban place that you can be in. And you'll see why. Let's see. New York. How do we get there? Oh, right now it's a lot of traffic. It's a it's about rush hour. But typically it would take around 45 minutes to get to Montclair if you're driving. Right now in rush hour, it takes an hour and 15 minutes, just about. If you're taking public transportation by train, you take the Amtrak or the NJ Transit and you go to Watchung Avenue. Watchung Avenue is one of the main roads uh, that goes from east to west of Montclair. So it's right there. It's easy. And then it takes you all the way to Penn Station, which is Midtown. This is Midtown Manhattan, as you can see. And it's a fairly easy commute, and that's why a lot of New Yorkers like to travel or live in Montclair, per se. Let's say you're traveling from out of state and you're flying in. One of our very famous airports is in Queens, New York. It's called John F. Kennedy International Airport. And it takes you about an hour and 40 minutes to get there, and that is in traffic. But if we depart in the morning, let's just say 9, 9.20 a.m. That's also traffic, right? Let's just do 6 a.m. Oh, it's still an hour and 20 minutes. Okay, that makes sense. So it'll take you about an hour to an hour and 30 minutes to get there. I guess if you're in heavy traffic, it says it'll take you about two hours to get there. Adrian will go into further detail about the roads and the, the highways. Another airport that you may use is Newark, Liberty International Airport. And that's in New Jersey, that's in Newark. And it's pretty accessible, it's right there. So it takes you only 20 minutes driving. And let's see if we depart in rush hour. Let's say 6 p.m. 24 to 40 minutes. So, I mean, that's still not bad. LaGuardia Airport. This is another airport that we have that we kind of neglect, but this is also in Queens. And it'll take you about typically an hour to get there. So 45 to an hour and 15, it says. I would just plan extra time if you're traveling from the airport or to the airport, actually. And if you wanted to hang out in another city, let's say Jersey City instead of Montclair, how far does it take you to get to Jersey City? So about, I would say 30 minutes. This is in traffic. 30 minutes, 45, 
to 45 minutes to get to Montclair. So say you wanted to get to a beach in New Jersey and we recommend you go to Long Branch because it does have private, it has volleyball courts on the beach. It's pretty nice. So it'll take you about an hour to an hour, an hour and 40 minutes. That's not bad at all. So let's say you wanted to depart in the morning or 1 p.m., that's fine. And if you want to take public transportation, and it takes you, whoa, four hours. Here's the option of the train. I don't know why they give you all these bus options, but here's a train option. It'll take you about two hours and 17 minutes. If you do it by bus, it'll take you all day. Oh, do you guys want to know about the transportation by, by public transportation for the airport? John F. Kennedy Airport. You do public transportation. It takes you about two hours. So you can take the train, another train, and a bus. If you wanted to do to Newark Airport, it would take you about an hour as well. And for well, LaGuardia Airport, two hours. Oh, not bad. Same as uh, John F. Kennedy. But John F. Kennedy Airport is just more popular. That's why we mention it more often. Alrighty. And Adrian can talk about the ways to commute in and out of Montclair. You're probably wondering how do you commute in and out of Montclair? Oh, look, it's Van Blake House Gardens. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of ways to get in and out of Montclair, and that's because it's pretty much surrounded by all these highways. And you can see how awesome this location is just because you have access to this highway, this highway, this highway. Let's go into details what those highways are and where a bus can take you. First of all, you have Route 46 here, which merges with Route 3. And this is a cool little highway just because you know it can take you either west if you're looking to go to Wayne or Kinalon this way, right? Persephone. Persephone. There's tons of, you know, you can transfer over to Route 202 that way. There's tons of hiking spaces that right there if that's where you want to go. If you want to go to Route 146 and go east, east north, then you can take that, which you can head towards Fort Lee. And all the good food you can travel there or transfer over towards the highway towards palisades interstate parkway which takes you to some good food in those areas guys montclair has good food so you don't really need to travel out but he's just saying yeah if you want specific food like korean food which you can find in Fort Lee, maybe you will not use that other than that that that's it you also have the garden state parkway which takes you everywhere in New Jersey, up and down New Jersey. You pretty much get anywhere with Garden State Parkway. Some exits require tolls, some exits don't, depending on where you're coming from. Another route that you could take going in and out of Montclair is Route 280, which is very, oh, let's drive up. It's Route 280, which is which is a route that you can take to 109 if you want to transfer to Jersey City. This is actually the way that Brianna showed you guys in order for you to get to Jersey City. Let's say downtown, you're getting there, you take 178, then you go to the turn, I mean, you go transfer on the Garden State Parkway, and then here we go, here in Montclair. Those are the main arteries of New Jersey in terms of transportation via the highway, but there's also some main streets in Montclair that you might need to use if you are going to travel between different towns. So this is Bloomfield Avenue. Bluefield Avenue, we actually went through this on our I'll talk about it every morning. neighborhood tour. She yeah. can talk about it more. You know what I'm saying? That's a good that's a good little spot. It's actually a really large street. It's almost it could be a highway too. This is Watchung Avenue. Brianna was talking about it. It goes from west east of Montclair, which you can use to commute to Nutley and all surrounding areas towards the east. West and east. And east. <laughs> yeah. You have the Elm Street, which which transfers over to the Grove Street right here. In Montclair, which you can take up and down, right? Montclair. And then we can go even deeper than that and talk about certain areas, certain locations, or certain streets that you might need to use a lot. So Valley Road is one of those streets that goes through Bloomfield Avenue and also Upper Montclair. If you're looking to use the train stations at whichever stop you desire. Valley Road also has beautiful views of the Wachung Mountain. And yeah, if you want something to do and just have a nice drive, we love that kind of thing. I know Adrian likes that. And that, that's a nice road to take a, take a drive. You have Upper Mayan Avenue, which is probably one of the most popular streets in Montclair, just because you go there and it's literally the millionaire's road. It seems like 
And let's take a look at what that looks like. And you're actually there. Boom! Big old houses, the entire street. You know, it's a pretty busy street, but the houses are far from the road. So you have a lot of land between you and the main road, which is pretty convenient. I know some people don't really like to live off the main road, but it's pretty peaceful there. So yeah, we've been there before. It's a very busy road. Yeah. Other than that, those are really the main roads for Montclair. Before I hand it over to Brianna, let's take a look at the transportation systems in Montclair. Oh, as you guys see, tons of transit in Montclair. You have these train stations and you also have tons of bus stations in Bluefield Avenue, Park Street. So if we can just zoom in here and just scroll through Montclair. Bus stops over Valley Road, transfers you over to the main areas where this, you know, where the shoppings are. Honestly, you probably don't need a car if you live in Montclair, just because there's transportation accessibility everywhere. As you can see those little blue dots, and that also takes you, if you work in New York City, it takes you there as well. So that's it for transportation in Montclair. I think we're just gonna talk about things to do. Boom, boom. All right. So we're gonna talk about Bloomfield Avenue. Let's just see what that is. On Bluefield Avenue, we did speak about it in our video and our neighborhood tour. And it's a large street where you have so many things to do. For example, you have the Montclair Art Museum. By the way, Montclair is known for its art and the creative outlets that they have there. So all you artists, make sure you head there if you're around town. So Montclair Art Museum is right here. It's right on Bloomfield Avenue. Let's see if we can see some pictures. I haven't been before. Whoa. I'm sure you can see some beautiful art there. All right. And there are also theaters in on Bloomfield Avenue, such as the Wellmont Theater. Let's check it out. Wow. Looks like they host live concerts there as well. So it says, tonight, the Flaming Lips. By the way, this is not sponsored. There are concerts. There we go. It looks like a lot of uh, rock bands. Okay, that's awesome. There you have it. And what else? Oh, we did go to the Montclair Book Center, which is lovely. You can spend some time there. We went there when, when it was closing one day. I wish we had more time. But it's just a it's such a beautiful place. It's just a funky place to be. And I know that initially they were known for having comics that were rare. And then it, they expanded to all kinds of genres. Then there is a antiques. Let's see, let's just see the antique stores here. Um, which one was I talking about? I guess there are multiple antique stores. This is right off Bloomfield Avenue. And we have more antiques, more antiques. So as you can see, there's a lot of vintage stuff going on here as well. Let's take a look at the street itself, just so you have an idea as to what I mean by it's such a large street. Bluefield Avenue is where to be when you want to do anything and everything. So they also have lots of food too. Which way should I go on? What do you think? That way. This way? Yeah. So as you can see, we have a ramen spot. It's very diverse here as well in terms of the cuisines. Grayford. Um, that looks like a rich American. Australian sweet green, you have wellness places. Just a beautiful place. I believe this is the bookstore right here. Yeah. This is Montclair Bookstore. And you have Church Streets right there. Church Street? Yeah, right here. The one that we went to. Oh, right here? Yeah. Ooh, if you want to know what's down there, then definitely check out our video. See, it has a lot of uh, commercial spots as well, retail. Another theater. We walk past this one. I think this one has a uh, smaller production film. Movie theaters, mostly. Yeah, this is cute. This is not a movie theater, but a, this restaurant, I believe it's an Italian restaurant. And I just want it to be cute and cheeky. 
Anyway, we have jewelers, we have a toy store, just anything and everything. I love it here. It's just such a vibe in the summer as well. You just chill on the streets. It's cute. Yeah. Yay. Okay. So that is Bloomfield Avenue. So many good coffee shops in Montclair as well. I know his brother recommended a coffee shop in Montclair. So we also have this place called Key Cuts. It's on, I believe that's Church Street, the one that we said, um, the one that we said to check out our video in order to see Church Street. But this is our friend's barbershop. Super nice place. I think it was located in a different area before and then recently opened up here. Yeah, it's the first black owned establishment in Montclair. It's pretty awesome. Is it the first one? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. And you have this cute doggo. I don't know why the doggo is here, but... And that's our friend, his name is Zane. So if you ever go there, tell them, tell him we said hi. <laughs> Montclair has three quote unquote main areas, I would say. So this is more like the old town of Montclair. And where we just were was in, we were just in Bloomfield Avenue. And this is more like the downtown area, as you saw. Lots of where the transportation is and all the commercial spots. And we also have the center of Montclair, which is Watchung Avenue. So many different environments to explore there. Let's speak more about Valley Road and Bellevue Avenue. They also have a lot of retail shops, restaurants. You know this uh, gelato spot? Il Laboratorio del Gelato. So this place was born in the Lower East Side where I'm from, of Manhattan. And it's on Houston Street. And wow, they have one here now. So I guess they blew up and they have one in Montclair. That's how you know Montclair is popping because that, if that's the second or third place they place this gelato spot, then that's how you know. That's just, that's just how you know. Anyway. And we heard that this chocolate spot, Vesta, is really delish as well. We did go to this restaurant here, Toros. It's one of our favorite restaurants. There's also one in Clifton. That is the original, I believe. It's a cute street. As you can see, they have uh, small shops, boutiques. A much smaller road and smaller businesses reside here. The coffee shops here is, are also bomb. Oh, this is also a vegetarian spot that we sometimes go to. It's a Chinese vegetarian spot. So if you are vegan, vegetarian, like I am, we have many options for you. So as you can see, if there's a vegetarian spot in any place, it's pretty versatile. Valley Road, you can dine and just relax. And it's, an, it's just a cute spot to be in. Watchung Avenue has a few restaurants if you want to check them out. But this is what I meant by the center of Montclair. Oh, yeah, I've been here. Yeah. There's a really good sushi spot right at the corner. This is the center of Montclair. We have small, cute little restaurants and cafes. We went to a Japanese restaurant here, which was delish. It just says Japanese restaurant. I guess that's the name of it. Anyway, that's it for Watchung Road. I want to move along and talk about the green spaces in Montclair. Let's talk about Van Vleck Garden. This is a beautiful space to be in. We also reviewed this in our neighborhood tour. So if you wanna see what that's like. Amazing space. We'll talk more about the history too. Eagle Rock Reservation. This is not in Montclair. However, it's literally bordering Montclair. And I highly recommend this place too. Just overlooking the city. It's a beautiful, beautiful place to be. Like pictures don't do it justice ever, but you get that. Let's just look at all the parks so that we have an overview. Look at how many parks there are. You have Brookdale, you have Edgemont Park. These are small, but there's just so many green spaces in Montclair, which I love. So it's not lacking in that aspect, right? And yeah, Montclair also has a lot of farmer's markets. And yeah, that's that's about it. I mean, if you're ever in Montclair, you can search them yourself. It's, uh, we should visit more often. Yeah, Google's your best friend, but also us if you want a friend to talk to about Montclair. Right now we're in Montclair. We're going to be taking a look at all of the active properties that are currently for sale in Montclair. And there's tons of variety in Montclair from your typical $500,000, $700,000 multi 
single family homes, multifamily or single family homes. And you also have your top of the line, echel upper echelon mansions, literally one of the most expensive properties in Jersey City, located in Montclair, it's one of the most desirable areas in terms of real estate because of everything that it offers. So taxes in Montclair is about 6.63%, which is not bad compared to other areas of Montclair. But you will see here, actually, just a little example, you look at the $899,000 house and you're paying about $15,000 in taxes, which is really cheap in terms of location and opportunity and purchase price. Because I own the property in East Orange and it was a $400,000 property and my taxes was $16,000. Oh, yes. That, the, another reason why that's awesome is because Montclair has a lot of schools and is known to be a area with a good school district. Yep. So taxes are typically high in that respect. However, as you can see, there's condos, there's multifamilies, there's multi floors. But let's take a look at what Montclair has to offer in terms of the midpoint price point. And I think we should just go back and look at that one that I was looking at. $699,000 townhouse. First of all, this is a two bedroom, two bedroom, two full bath, one half bath. bath. How many square feet? This is 1805 square feet condo built in 2009. Boom, bing, bam. It's nice. This is the first level. Assuming this is where you get up on the first floor. Open floor layout. Nice kitchen. A lot of light coming through. Yeah. Hardwood floors. Oh, tinted cabinets, stainless steel appliances. A full bathroom. <laughs> Part of the staircase with lights. Wow, you have a window. Oh, look, this is a popular artwork. I'm a painter, but... I forget. I'm not gonna say, because I might say it wrong. I forget who did it, but I just see that in a lot of museums. Bedroom size. That's a big bed. Next, I mean. A lot of cabinets. All right, bathroom. Give me a second. Wow, look at this. It must be a stock trader because there's a lot of screens. In unit washer bedroom. In unit washer with two car garage. Can't go wrong. Six hundred ninety thousand dollars with fourteen thousand dollars in taxes. What's the HOA? Three forty monthly. Three forty monthly it's HOA. Not bad. bad. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah. that's decent. All right, let's look at another one. Let's look at the million dollar range because we have a big gap here. We have to go through and I'm only gonna show you guys three properties because if you wanna see more, you reach out to us. Wow, this is beautiful. It's already under a third review. This is listed at $1,395,000. Seven bedrooms. Seven bedrooms, four bathrooms, two half bath, 4,956 square feet. So it's nearly 5,000 square feet. It, that might not even include the basement. So you have over 5,000 plus. You have two detached garage spaces. Yep. You have central air, Tudor homes, I think are one of the most beautiful homes in New Jersey. And you have, whoa! Okay, I'm not sure if that's a typo, but you're looking at $41,000 in taxes. There goes your school. That's your school right there. In the turn review. Wow. That's your view. Yeah. I think we should be talking. Yeah, we should. Yeah, we should. Wow. wow. That's a beautiful living room. It's just so simply clean. And this is a this is the vibe. This is a this is the vibe. Very much very open. Yeah. Very much open. <laughs> yeah, very open. You have a Sun. sunroom right there. Those stairs are kind of dated compared to the rest of the house, but that's I not think an it's issue. a carpet that they use. That carpet is. I gotta go. This has a dining room separate. Uh -huh. Does it have an eating kitchen next? Let's Come see, on, I'm going see. too slow. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. That's your washer dryer. Washer dryer. Eating kitchen. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh, Look God. at that. Man, oh. you'll see me right here standing all day. And eating. Yep, that's it. <laughs> that's it. This is my kitchen. I this I work here, eat here, everything. No, that wouldn't be me, guys. You'll find me in the sunroom. Yeah. Kitchen is my place. I love that kitchen. I should buy in this. Oh! Wow. Is that master? Yeah, this is your master right here. Golly. With the fireplace. Fireplace. Your office. 
connecting to your bedroom. What would you do to that space with that space? Wow, that's a sunroom in the bedroom. That's and a master bath. Pretty cool. Look at that. You can see it right there. Boom, your office. Thanks. Okay. Bathroom. Just a lot of light coming in. The floors are beautifully done. Hardwood. Oh, I'm not sure if they're the original. They probably took really good care of it. Yeah. This is definitely the original, but I would definitely keep it. It's so cute. That's beautiful. I mean, even the floors. Yeah. Basement. Finished basement. Woo! See, the floors are different, so that probably is the original floor upstairs. Upstairs, yeah, definitely. They definitely renovated this. They have a cute little kid nook right there. Keep It's your entertainment room. Yeah. And this is the, garage. the room leaving. Oh, that's the garage itself? Yeah, uh, maybe. The room leading to the garage, I believe. Possibly. Look at that. That's your backyard. That's awesome. Lots of greeneries and your attached garage. Look at that. Okay. And that's it for that property. All right, time to move on. Wow, that's a beautiful home. Lucky owner, lucky, lucky owner. You guys are dying for it. I know I can see some of you guys clicking on your screen. So let's do it. You have this Tudor home. Six bedrooms, seven full bathrooms and two half bathrooms. That's insane. If you have more bathrooms than you have bedrooms, that is a absolute luxury. Built in 1910. You have 1.83 acres. Six car garage. What's oh, the square footage? Okay, it doesn't uh, specify on the square footage. But you do have it here. If you want to take a pause and do the calculation, you are more than welcome to do that. Okay, Central so air. It's the taxes. Ooh. You have eighty three thousand dollars in, in taxes. taxes in twenty twenty three. Wow. Okay, that's nice. That's cute. Oh, have, that's different. Uh, you have a little balcony. Wow, that's, that's a, a lot of space for a. That's a. Oh my goodness. Okay, so they definitely did a full redo of this entire place. Gutted everything. I mean, you can just see how tall this store is. It's almost at the sea. This is luxury. This is pinnacle of luxury in New Jersey. You have floating staircase. You have these beautiful light vanities. Floor to ceiling windows. Oh my God. All throughout. This, the, your, uh, this is your eating kitchen. Look at that. Eating kitchen, chill spot. You have custom cabinets that flushes with your wall. All houses should have windows like that now. Maybe not. Maybe people don't like all that. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, you have this much space and this much privacy. Like, Honestly, this perfect. seems like a loft house where you can put a swing on the ceiling and have a party. You literally can. I mean, if you wanted to, you can have a bunch of hammock. Oh. No, a swing, not a, a swing. Hammock. Okay, you can have a swing here too, but I'll have my hammock right here. Swing, swing. In the middle of the hall. Oh, yeah. This is one of the bedrooms. I'm not sure if this is the master bedroom. Whoa. That is the master bedroom. It's the master bedroom. You have the two sinks. The Listen, room. you have this much space between this and hers. Uh, yeah, I would love that much space. Yeah. Next, awesome. next, next. In ground pool in the basement. In the basement. Wow. I got one outside as well. Next. Yeah, so if you're in the winter, you can enjoy pool all year long. Look at this. What is it? What's going on here? Wow. That's like one of the living rooms. I don't know how many living rooms. I think there's Next. tons of living rooms. We're going to go over how many rooms there are here later. Next. Wow. Wait. Oh my God. Look, you have a TV flush interior fireplace. This is like the entertainment room. Yeah, this is definitely, these windows definitely open for a nice little barbecue session outside. Some get, nice gathering. You have another, another water bar. Another kitchen. I guess that's... This is your water bar, yeah. That's where the entertainment room is probably. Yeah. Another perspective of the main floor living room. Mm -hmm. You have your own wine... Ooh, Winery. Wine, wine closet. That's, you have a wine closet. A, Look at that. If that's what it's called, guys. If you, if you know what that's called. Listen, 8.5 million will get you a wine closet. Anything you want. You have an office space. You have another water bar. Maybe this is for your chef. Looks like the master. Oh, your bathroom's behind you. Another perspective of the, this the foyer. Like a mud room, yeah. yeah, this is like your mudroom. Probably the guest room that we just saw. Yeah, there's another guest room. Wow. Nice marble finishes. Look how thick that vanity. Oh my goodness. Yep. 
another bedroom that's being used as an office that also has its own bathroom in unit laundry and dryer as you can see it's unlimited amount of rooms so yes you want to oh a yoga room yoga room this is your spot okay let's just look at how many bedrooms there are okay let's go let's go let's go we have six bedrooms seven bath two bath your breakdown okay guys close your eyes and imagine the first level you walk in you have the den you have the family room you have foyer you have the kitchen laundry room living and dining room mud room office pantry porch powder room sitting room that's the first floor in the level two you have three bedrooms bathroom a main bathroom another bathroom a laundry okay you get the point it's a lot of bedrooms well that's it anyway that's it for this overview of montclair we gotta get to a showing and i'm sure you gotta get to looking if that's you or maybe you want to watch more videos of new jersey you want to can browse through to our channel so if you're new to our channel make sure to click the subscribe and bell notification to be the first to know what's going on here in new jersey come out with videos all the time so keep an eye out again my name is brianna and my name is adrian like we said if you're looking between 9 or 90 days from now definitely give us a call send us a text or send us an email we're more than happy to help you guys out and we'll see you guys on the next time or we'll see you here in on person. the stopping ground oh yeah <laughs> bye